Hello, power users. Today we'll learn how to use Glue's grain control feature to add and set up a static or animated grain texture to our designs, taking them to the next level and making them more lively and engaging. Let's take a look at what we've achieved first. Our page here has an animated grain pattern that is adding texture to the whole design. As we scroll down, we can see that this texture is on top of our 3D model here, that we've added to our page with Glue's 3D model widget and animated using Glue's GSAP 3D model event type. Tutorials for both on screen and in the description. Let's jump to the Elementor editor to discover how we've created this grain effect. There's three elements in our navigator, our container, and inside our 3D model widget and an animated headline. For this purpose, we've set the headline to position fixed. This grain, however, is actually coming from the container, where we've set up our grain control. After we've designed our elements, we can come to our preferred container and toggle on active grainer. As we can see, toggling it off, the grain effect will disappear. It's important to note how every change we make in grain control will reflect instantly in the Elementor editor. We won't have to update and check the page every time in the front end. The first option we have after the master toggle is a Z-index control. We can see in our 3D model widget that we have a Z-index of zero on it. By changing it to a value that is higher to the one that we set in grain control, we'll see that our 3D model is now on top of the grain. We can do the same for our headline. Let's update and check this better on the front end. No more grain visible on the 3D model. Let's quickly set it back to how it was so that we can better explore the other settings. Back in our container, we'll see that grain control has three setting tabs, pattern, grains, and animation. Again, all of the changes here will instantly be reflected in the Elementor editor as soon as we change them. Pattern width and pattern height control the size of the pattern on their respective directions. This becomes more clear as we make the pattern smaller, as we'll be able to see that the grain is just a tiling pattern. Making the pattern itself larger on both or just one dimension will make the tiling less noticeable. Moving to the grains tab, we can control the individual properties of the grains inside the pattern. First is grain density. Lowering this value will make the effect overall more noticeable. We can change the opacity of the effect. Lower values will make it more transparent and as such less noticeable and we can make the individual grains larger or smaller on the width and height dimensions. Manipulating these two last values, we can create narrow and tall or wide and short grains, adding an element of verticality or width to our texture. Keeping both values the same will make sure our grains are a perfect square. In the Animation tab, we can simply toggle the animation on and off. Keeping it off, grain control will provide a static texture for our designs. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on Glue's grain control. We are absolutely sure this feature will prove extremely useful when we'll want to spice up our designs with an effect that is always modern, relevant, and captivating. Yeah.